Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video where I share a day in my life. This was recorded on a rainy bank holiday Monday. So the kids were at home and I'll show you what we had uh, for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So a full day of meals. For breakfast, I made some scrambled egg mixed with some veg. I basically chopped up a uh, yellow bell pepper, red onion, some mushrooms and some baby plum tomatoes. I sprayed a little oil in a large frying pan and then added the veg and cooked that until it was nice and soft. I added some eggs to a large bowl. I think I added about 10 eggs, I'm not sure. And then just mixed that together with some sea salt and coarse black pepper. Once the veg in the pan was nice and soft, I poured in the egg mixture and then cooked it until it was cooked. I also heated up some beans and made some toast and that was a delicious, nutritious, filling breakfast. I like to add some chilies to mine, so I'm just cutting up a finger chilli. So after breakfast, we decided to take the kids out for a little outing. The younger kids, uh, the older ones are not too bothered. So they stayed at home, but we took the little ones out and we ended up in home bargains somehow. So I just had a good look around and I saw some nice cleaning products, which I picked up. The kids got some snacks and colouring books and little toys. Even though everything's not very expensive there, it does add up just like with B&M. But anyway, these are the cleaning products that I picked up and I was really happy with them. I also got those plastic tumblers to drink from, obviously. For lunch on this day, we had macaroni cheese. It was really easy to make and the kids really enjoyed it. So first of all, I'm just boiling some macaroni pasta. Next, I added some butter and plain flour to a pan on a low flame and then you just mix that together to make a paste. Add in the milk. As you're bringing it to the boil, so you turn it up to a high heat and as you're bringing it to the boil, just make sure you keep on whisking to make sure there's no lumps. All right. So once I had a nice smooth mixture, I added in some salt and some cayenne pepper, just stirred that in. Some onion granules. A little bit of mustard. and some garlic and ginger paste. 
it's nice to add a couple of extra things just for some added flavor or an extra little kick and then i finished off with some grated cheddar and just mix that all together the flame was turned off at this point and then you just add the cooked macaroni to the pan and just mix that all together until it's beautifully combined. So you can have it like that, but I decided to put it into a large oven dish and topped with some more grated cheddar. And then I popped it under the grill for about, I don't know, five minutes until it was a lovely golden brown. And soon enough it was dinner time. The weather was still not looking great. There were still some raindrops lingering. That's a raspberry plant that I think it is anyway. I've not got any raspberries yet, but here's to hoping, hey? So for dinner we had butter chicken. I had some chicken thigh pieces and I thought, what can I do with these? I was going to go for the chicken tikka masala, but I didn't have any cream in, so I went for the butter chicken instead. So it's really easy to make and it's delicious, mashallah. If you've not tried the butter chicken before, you're missing out. So add all the ingredients that were on screen or in the description to a large mixing bowl and then add in your chicken pieces. Allow it to marinate for at least 30 minutes if you can. And then you just cook that in a pan and uh, dry it off until all the liquid, well not all, most of the liquid has uh, evaporated and you're left with like a bit of a thicker sauce so just make sure it doesn't burn um, because that's not nice and then you remove the chicken pieces from the pan don't wash the pan leave it as is so it's still got bits of that sauce and then add in your butter and two onions. I actually had a batch of onions that I'd frozen after prepping them. If you saw my video last week, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I just added um, some frozen onions and then just cook until um, soft. Then you add in your tin of chopped tomatoes and a bay leaf. And just mix that together, bring it to the boil cook it a little for a minute or two and then remove the bay leaf and I used a hand blender to make sure everything was nicely blended and smooth. Be careful if you're doing it in the pan like I did. It was splattering out and it's hot. Uh, ideally put it into a standing blender and uh, it's safer probably but I just couldn't be bothered with the extra washing. <laughs> so um, I'd rather burn myself with the tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, once it was nice and smooth, I added the chicken back to the pan, mixed it all together. And like I said, I didn't have any cream in the house. So you could add some cream, but I just added some water instead for some extra liquid in the pan. And then bring that to the boil until it looks delightful. Mashallah. We served it with some white boiled rice. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this day in my life video. I hope it gave you some ideas. Jazakallah. Thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, see you really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.